During the winter months in the UK, storms and high winds are a common place, which makes opportunities to dive very uncommon. And while I wait for the conditions to improve, I'm going to spend this time tweaking existing equipment and making new stuff along the way. One of the first things I wanted to make was a device I can use to measure any shellfish I find while I'm out diving. All shellfish have a minimum landing size, and typically this is the sort of gauge you would use to measure them. And while this type of gauge is fine, I wanted to make something a little bit more unique. So this is what I came up with, and in this video I'm going to show you the whole process from start to finish. The first step was to make a 3D version of my design on Fusion 360. As this is based off of a vernier caliper, the overall design is pretty simple. It will consist of a main body, a head and a catch. So I start with the main body first, making the main shape for the gauge. Making the artwork on the main body was probably the longest but also the most enjoyable part. Now that the body's all done, it's time to move on to the head and the catch. The catch will allow me to very easily and quickly switch between animals if required. With the 3D model now complete, it's time to slice it and 3D print it. Once the machine's heated up, a bit of hairspray and then we're good to go. Seventeen hours later, it's ready to remove from the bed. The next thing was to remove the brim, the supports, and then file all of the edges down, clean all of the surfaces. Unfortunately, I managed to split the head whilst doing this. And then the second version came out warped and it would not fit on the body at all. Luckily it all worked out on the third attempt and it runs nice and smoothly. Next is the catch assembly. Now I wasn't entirely happy with the catch at first, so I changed the design a couple of times. And the new catch is much easier to operate. Now here's the really intricate part. I decided to fill each of the pictures in with nail polish, that way it would be much easier to see.
It took a while, but I was very happy with the end result. Now it'd be rude to not put paracord on the end of this, wouldn't it? A couple of fancy knots, cut and burn the ends, and then we're good to go. The gauge is very simple to use. Simply set it to what you need to measure, and then hold it up to the measuring points on the animal. And those measuring points will vary depending on the animal. If the points on the animal are longer than the set length on the gauge, then it's good to take. The end result, in my opinion, is a very low profile, sleek, and easy to use piece of equipment. And I'm very happy with how it's turned out. I hope you found this interesting, and if you did, please leave a like or let me know in the comments. See you on the next one.